I think that's important because I think what what she seems to be doing is going for more resemblance than representation. Yeah, and when words represent when words resemble rather than represent, what are they freed to do, Dave Poplar? Well, then you can you can just break down the connotation. I mean, she, she's she's sort of saying, yeah, the denotation is there. We we can we can deal with that, but that's not really that's really not descriptive. Like, I I want to deal with all the connotation that exists out there. What a radical you are saying that denotation is not descriptive. I guess we would say to um, people who are apprentices to Stein or novices or first timers that um, description is just one of six or seven or ten ways of resembling. Words to thing or words to words. And yeah, I am new to Stein. <laughs> this yeah. is the first I've read of her. Um, but I sort of read that line as a metapoetic line, um, sort of talking about her rhetoric or way of um, of writing about things uh, that maybe perhaps, you know, to somebody like me reading it at first, uh, it doesn't seem like she's writing about the thing that she is writing about. Mm. Um, but her way of speaking, her way of, uh, of drawing this picture or writing this picture uh, of the thing or getting at the nature of the thing uh, yeah. is not unordered mm. and it's not resembling of the thing mm. um, in the way that it differs from the actual thing or the way that we're used to reading about the object. Um, that's really well put. And uh, if it's not resembling then it's not unordered. I mean, one of the criticisms of Stein would be it's all out of order. She's saying, no, it's not unordered. In not resembling, it's not unordered. That's a totally new approach. And just add that um, to say that something is not unordered in not resembling also suggests that there's form in everything. So I think one of the things Stein teaches us to do is recognize patterns where we think there are none. So seeing patterns in order in, cha in what seems to be chaos both because that's what she's telling us. Um, Lily just described it as intention, a kind of intention, but also recognizing patterns in language where we think there might be none.